Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Every time I make a political video talking about how these leftists are coming after our guns, I get a ton of feedback, lose a ton of subscribers. People say, you're nothing but a fear monger. You guys are all the same. I'm more than a single issue voter. How many of your guns did Obama take? Well, let me tell you something. If Obama had the votes, he would have been more than happy to confiscate guns or at least make them illegal and turn everybody into criminals overnight. But who did he put in charge of this? Joe Biden. What did Joe Biden say? He said, you don't need an AR-14 to hunt. All right. Joe Biden said on numerous occasions that nobody should own a weapon of war. We don't need that in our society. Modern sporting rifles. Don't take my word for it. It came right from Joe. And so now we're seeing Joe is throwing out there saying Congress needs to pass common sense gun reform. They don't say gun control anymore. They say common sense gun safety, gun reform. It's all common sense. Even gun owners agree with this. Basically what they're saying is you, you should not own an AR-15 or an AK. It will be instantly illegal and you will become a criminal overnight. Those need to be banned. They're also saying ban high capacity magazines. Background checks across the board. Every firearm transfer needs a background check. If you think that the NIC system was overwhelmed in this last year with a record number of gun sales, just wait till you see what this will look like. Background check, background check, background check constantly. I have had so many background checks. There is nobody in the state of Michigan who has been vetted more than I have. I've been background checked like crazy. In, in this past year, there have been several delays because the system was so overwhelmed they didn't have the manpower to keep up. Biden wants to increase that. But as bad as that is, and as bad as these bans, or they'll, they'll, they'll say, we're going to meet in the middle and give a, a government buyback. They never own the gun. They don't need to buy back anything. No, I, There's nobody I know who's going to give up their guns because Joe doesn't want you to have them. But if you think about this other thing, they want to hold the gun manufacturers liable for what they say, putting weapons of war out in the streets. Weapons of war. What they want to do is bankrupt these manufacturers through the courts. And in many ways, in many cases, it'll work. Like when, you, when you're spending so much money on the defense for simply putting out a product that people want, that people save lives with, that people protect their families with, now you're going to put them on the defensive. If you want to really protect children, why don't you go after the swimming pool manufacturers, the bicycle manufacturers? How about the steak knife manufacturers or the baseball bat manufacturers? Like, we can go on and on. This is nothing more than a target at you and me. All because, well, they're saying this is the third year of the Parkland shooting at, at, the, at the high school. This is three years, and we owe them some common sense gun reform. Well, let's take a look at that. That deranged animal kid who was no longer even attending that school made social media posts that were violent. The people who received those threats in those posts alerted school administrators, the sheriff's department. Everybody was alerted. They did nothing because they wanted to keep the crime low in the area. Keep the crime low. Hey, keep that housing coming in. That, that was part of the motive. Of course, they wouldn't say that, but that, that was part of the motive. They, they were intentionally decreasing their arrests and, and uh, criminal convictions and everything else to make the neighborhood look safe. Same with the school. Administrators did nothing. Then when that kid did what he said he was going to do, they, they want to come after us. All of our hearts mourned over that. That was horrible. Nobody wants to see anybody get killed. But when everybody is warned in advance and the kid does what he said he was going to do, what does that have to do with me for owning an AR-15? What does that have to do with anybody else who uses a firearm to protect our families? All of a sudden, we're going to be turned into criminals. The gun manufacturers are going to be turned into defendants, fighting for their, their own freedom, not, not to gain anything, just to keep what they have. Weapons of war, really? What are we talking about here? Magazine capacity so that the criminals will have more rounds than we have? 
that's a good idea. Come to think of it, not one of those things would reduce crime. Not one of those things would keep people safe. Not one of those things would end gun violence. It's not common sense. It's actually quite ignorant. And so if we take a look at what they're trying to do and how they are framing the argument, you can see that it's very flawed. It offers nothing in terms of safety and it enables the criminals to be even more violent. Criminals love gun control and I'm sure they love sleepy Joe Biden as well. I appreciate you watching and you guys be safe.